this is David B. 69, and how are you doing today? We are back with Phillies baseball on MLB The Show 22. We are off to a fantastic start of the season. We're 10 and 2. We are styling and profiling, and we're going up against an ex Philly, Cisco, Sixto Sanchez. I think it's six, Sixto. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway. Let's get right to it. Um, We really don't have much to do or say. One of the things that I really wanted to do that I was noticing was Castellanos is generally hitting four and Swarber is hitting um, one. So I'm going to switch that up in our two lineups here. Um, As you know, we don't have non-DH, so we don't have to actually worry about the other two lineups. So um, it's really just not a, not something we need to worry about ourselves with. Um, so basically, we're going to have Swarver hitting first, and we're going to go from there. Um, I still stick with my lineup of having our third baseman hitting second. Um, sometimes in the order, they have... Uh, They've been having Real Muto hit second or um, Segura hit second. I, I personally, I like either Stott or Bohm hitting second. I, I feel that that's the best. So I'm going to keep it that way for right now. Um, but we're going to, we're just going to basically continue on from there. So uh, let's get to playing here. And see how everybody is tired-wise, because generally we do get people getting tired. Um, Suarez is even even 100%. So, we're, I mean, obviously he's going. Ooh, but look how tired some people are. Um, Swerber is a DH, so he should be fine. Um, I had him playing first base last game, so it makes sense that he gets a little tired. Um... Stott is a little tired. I'm going to give him the day off, and we're going, we're basically going to, even Baum's getting a little tired. Um, Okay, we're going to have Camargo go. Um, We'll have him playing today. Um, Because I don't want people to get overtired. So, okay, so in this circumstances, I am going to move, I'll move Camargo to the nine hole, and we'll go with that. Um, and that's what's going to be our lineup today. It's the Marlins. We should be able to take care of these guys easily, so it shouldn't really have any effect on us. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Miami Marlins. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country and a lot of times that's done through sport but for me as a black player when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure baseball's hard enough just to play but then everything sort of on the field off the field and how he persevered through that's so inspiring almost ready to get underway today's starting pitcher Sixto Sanchez Just a four-inning start his last time out. He took the loss. They're looking for more out of this guy today. Okay, all set to go. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. I do got to say, I like these uh, uniforms. I mean, let me... uh... I mean, I gotta say, I really. Whoa, wait a second. Um, I mean, I like the uniform. I like the 42. I, it's nice and stuff and everything. It's like the blue logos. Even on the socks, it's 42. Um, 
I thought I saw a patch. One second. So touchy. Yeah, nice little patch right there. It's like very nice. I like it. Uh, let's check out the Marlins uniform. Pretty much the same thing. Oh, there's some like Jackie Robinson uh, images on the socks. Uh, nice little patch right there. In the you can see the blue numbering on there as well. And yeah, it's the same thing with the the back of the sock right there. Okay. So that's cool. I really like it. It's a nice touch. It's a very nice touch. The wind of the pitch. And it's one and one. Hey, he doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. Next offering way off the plate. And yeah, the right-hander deals. He was late there, strike one. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Rojas gloves it. Rojas with the throw to first. Schwarber out of the play. Gene Segura at the plate here. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. Swing and a base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. That Off the total. bat, it was headed for the, the gap fielder. all the way. And as right. a hitter, you love seeing those Perfect. as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. One gone runner at first. Here's Harper now. Two for four in the game last night. Grounded to third. Could be two. Anderson over to second. On the first double play. And that's the inning. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. It was way too aggressive there. I got to be patient. I got to wait for my pitch. Sometimes I get a little too aggressive. We go to the bottom of the first. Jazz Chisholm now. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. The 0 2 stays alive. Here's the 0 2. And there's a foul ball. And down on strikes he goes. One out. No, well, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location that there. You know, sometimes not as a style. hitter, when you're down in Be the count, care. you're so focused on a pitcher oh, painting oh. the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Miguel Rojas at the plate. And a pitch. That's a just missed. And a ground ball to first. Has some trouble with it, but plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. Batting third. Jesus Aguilar will hit next. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. That one fouled off. The 0-1. And a foul ball. Aguilar off of first with two away. 
Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And the next pitch is way outside. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. One left for Miami. We played an inning. No score. Second inning set to go. And now for the Phillies, Nick Castellanos. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Here comes a pitch. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Got him. One away. And now it is JT Real Muto. He was one for four back on Wednesday. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab. And there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Next offering misses, and now 2-0. Oh. That one the other way. Garcia racing over to make the catch. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Avisail Garcia up to the plate. Leading off for the Marlins. The pitch. The right fielder. In Avisail. for a strike. 1 1. Garcia. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Next offering is fouled back. And a 1 2. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground to short, Gregorius collects, tosses to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Willie Adamas, the next hitter. up for the Marlins. Willie. No hit to the Adamas. shutout yesterday afternoon. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. The next pitch misses, and the count even one and one. That fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corners. The one two. Stays alive. One and two here. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is foul back. One two now and fouled off fought off foul 
ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Next offering is downstairs. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And the Marlins down quietly. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Out of the third inning. Here's Didi now. The shortstop. Didi Gregorius. Sanchez back to work. On the ground. And he handles it himself for the out. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some Mickey. worms while you're at it. Moniac. At the play, Mickey Moniak. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Pulls it in for the out. Batting is Johan Camargo. Johan Camargo. The right-hander back to work. Slow roller to first. He steps on the bag, and that's the third out. Down quickly go the Phillies, and we are still scoreless. Back here in Miami, here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Leading off for the Marlins, the catcher, Jacob Stallings. And a pitch. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first, and Jerry Hillsdale says he went around. At the belt and fires. Hit in the air, right field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Around second now, going for three. Safely into third with a leadoff triple. With the way defenders track Batting down balls nine. these days, the I mean, both baseman. from the infield and in right. the outfield, there really aren't a lot of Anderson. base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Ryan Anderson, the next up for the Marlins, and the pitch. There's the strike. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. Segura handles. Fires over to Hoskins. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. Up next to the Here's the second baseman, the second Jazz baseman. Chisholm. Yeah. Let off the game with a strikeout. The pitch. There's the strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. He swings and fouls one off. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Bounced up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Got him. Now batting. Now the number two hitter, Miguel Rojas. Grounded out his first time. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So two down now, and here is now Jesus Aguilar. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Aguilar. Rojas, the runner at first with two gone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job of damage control right there. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Three innings complete. It's the Marlins one and the Phillies nothing.
new inning getting started. Now the batter now, Kyle Schwarber, is hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really Kyle strong. Schwarber. And the right hater back to work. And a foul ball. The 0 1. Pitch misses. And 1 and 1. Swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Righty to the plate. Chopped to the right side. Stallings throw to first in time. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. And digging in for Philadelphia, Gene Segura. And he's already singled in this game. In the air, right side. Garcia makes the catch. Two away down. Now batting. Bryce Harper right to the plate. Bryce Harper. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The why to kick the pitch. Off the mark there. Two and one. To third, Anderson picks it up. Save! What an effort there to save the perfect game, but it's broken up on an infield hit. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Well, he almost got him on the previous pitch and pretty much squared him the up catcher. right there. Got to wonder what's going on if you're on the other side of the field. And here it comes. Real Muto stands in now, looks at that one inside. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Next offering is in for a strike. Harper, the lead runner out at second. Castellanos on at first with two down. And it's even up. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Next pitch misses outside. And that's ball three. Two outs. Bounce to third. They get the force. That's out number three. Phillies leave a couple. They trail here. One nothing. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom four. Here's a big power threat. Jorge Soler. The center fielder. Jorge Soler pitch that one misses and that's ball one he's been pitching well but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order oh this one high and deep way back there and that one is gone 
Jorge Soler goes deep. His second of the year. It's 2-0. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Abasail Garcia, the next up for the Marlins. He was a strikeout victim his first time. First pitch, just misses. And now the lefty. Nope, inside, ball two. And Garcia gets a piece. And he deals. In the air, left side. Castellanos makes the catch. And there's one away. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. The pitch. That one missed. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Gregorius over to first in time. And there are two down. The batter. So singing a close play at first, worthy of another look with stack cast. That was an absolute heater, and she just don't see that type of velocity coming across the diamond every day. Only the best infield arms in baseball reach 90 miles per hour, and he needed all of it to get that out. Bang, bang, play. Adamas looks at a strike. Second trip to the plate for him. Line drive. Makes the play, and that's out number three. Marlins add another with the solo shot, and it's two zip. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And it's Leading Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The, first baseman, Reese the wind of the pitch. Hoskins. Ball one low. Ball one, no the wind of the pitch. Strike two. So now one and two to Reese. And a foul ball. And a ball and two strikes. Clearly he didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. And a pitch. That one ripped, but foul. And a pitch. Now a slow roller to second. Chisholm collects it. Over to Aguilar. One away here in the fifth. Now batting. So digging in now for Philadelphia, D.D. Gregorius. And a pitch. Not even close there, and it's one to know. Ground ball up the middle. Over to Aguilar. And the first two set down in the top of the fifth. Now batter. The center fielder. And now Mickey Monia. And the pitch. That's down and in. And now two and nothing. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. 
The next offering misses. And now 3 and 0. Oh. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swing and a miss, and it's 3 and 1. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Oh, that ball drilled back up the box and nailed the pitcher. And he's safe at first. The battle, the third baseman, Johan Camargo. So digging in, Johan Camargo grounded out his first time. The pitch. Over to Aguilar. And that is that. Bottom of the inning. And here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. Leading off the pitch. Swing and a miss. Feel the changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Here comes the pitch. On the ground, out to short. Fires over to Hoskins. They get the out on Stallings. Now batting, third baseman, Ryan Anderson. Down the third baseman, Ryan Anderson. He's over one. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Next offering is outside. In the air, right side of the infield. Segura drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. And up next for Miami, Jazz Chisholm. And here it comes. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And the batter will be the now shortstop, Miguel Rojas. Miguel. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Runner takes off. Pitch in for a strike. Not in time. He's safe. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. At the belt and fires. That one down the line into the outfield. Base hit. Runner around third. He scores. It's three zip. Oh, here we are. Third time through the order. And this is where we see the now OPS back. jump First up. Base Manager base might base have base to base. go to the bullpen a Aguilar. little bit sooner than he anticipated. Aguilar stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Right side. It's in and out of his glove. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 3-0. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Top six. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. The Phillies in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Left field, Sanchez settles underneath it, makes the catch for the out. Now batter, the second baseman, Gene Segura. Gene Segura at the plate here, one for two. The why to kick the pitch. Up the middle, Chisholm picks it up. Chisholm tosses the first. And a couple of quick outs. Good arm side run and sink on that pitch right there. Got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. Harper. Sanchez back to work. Harper takes the ball here as he stands in now. Next one is off the play. And that's ball two.
Here's the 2 2. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over. Jaori's Familia gets handed now the rock out of the pen, Philly. and he'll do his best to Number keep this 42. close. Oh, he's having an excellent season so far. ERA is under two. A lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Kicks and fires. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. The 2 0 is in for a strike. Nasty 2 0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Avasail Garcia up to the plate. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Next pitch misses. One and one. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss. Going to count one and two. And down on strikes. And that's the first out. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. Up I mean, that thing moment. tumbles out of his hand no and just drops here. off the table at the Thank last you. moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. Sanchez at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. You know, that's a swing you'll see a lot against a good sinker. Just right over the top. Tough to barrel that up. The punch out there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving now up the back. leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So really? they haven't been able to move oh, no. that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Next offering misses. Now 2-0. and oh. Out to short. Gregorius over to first in time. And that is that. Marlins lead one, but they lead it 3 nothing. Back here in Miami, we go to the top of the seventh. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Real Muto stands in here, leaves that one down. Next one misses, and the count is 2 0. Oh. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Anthony Bender getting loose out there, head getting loose as well. Now 3 and 0. Oh. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. The other way, hauls it in, and there's two away. Now batting. So up next, Reese Hoskins. Reese. Good Hoskins. power, not great in the OBP department. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They trail it here, three nothing. Welcome back, Jacob Stallings now. Leading off. The right hander back to work. This is outside. And that is ball one. Stalling. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses. And it's one and two. Next one off the plate inside. The count now two and two. This to center field, and there's one down. Here's the third the baseman, Ryan the Anderson, baseman. Ryan. in a pitch. Anderson. In for a strike, that's strike one. Next pitch inside, and that's ball one. And one and two. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. 
Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Now two away. So the lineup flips over. Jazz Chisholm now. now back. The right-hander back to work. Jazz. And that one fouled off. Chisholm. And he'll won. And a big swing and a miss. Throwing the ball well, and they need this scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping him in striking distance. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Pulls into third safely with a triple. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Miguel Rojas at the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 oh, 2 now. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. That's a base hit, run scores. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Marlins four and the Phillies nothing. We go to the eighth and the batter now, D.D. Gregorius. Leading off for Philadelphia. The That's in for a strike. Didi Gregorius. Righty delivers. Way outside. And it's one and one. Miami's bullpen with some action. Anthony Bass appears to be warming for Don Mattingly. Pop, a hard throwing right hander up as well. The wind of the pitch. And a ball evens the count. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Next pitch is outside. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff ball. Three two. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. And now for the Phillies, Mickey Monia. Mickey Monia. And the pitch. There's a strike. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. The next offering misses. And the count is one and one. And that's downstairs and outside. The 2-1. That's out to center field. A little bloop single. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Now batting. The These days, season. most outfielders play Johan. pretty deep, and Amargo. I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Johan Camargo with the dish. In there for strike one. The next pitch misses, and it's a ball to strike. In the air, out to center. Makes the grab on the run. One away. Back to the top now of the back. lineup. Here's, Here's the, the Phillies DH, Kyle, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. For the fourth time tonight, the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Gregorius on second. Moniak over at first with one away. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. In the dirt. Runners hold tight. It's a ball and two strikes. 
Here's a one two. One out. Runners at first and second. Got it. And there's two down. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there. And I don't mean to laugh, now but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect mm. strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in. Kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to whereas you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Segura in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Ball one, no strikes to Segura. That one ripped. Soler racing over to make the catch. Phillies leave a couple. They're down 4 nothing. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Connor Brogdon. He last pitched four Number days 42. ago, so he should feel pretty Connor. fresh. Brogdon. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's Jesus Aguilar. And he deals. Leading off. There's a strike. The first baseman, Jesus Aguilar. Out to short, and a base hit right there. Now batting, center field. Pitch. Jorge. That's in there. That's strike oh, one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Nope. Next pitch misses. Ball one. <laughs> Next offering is in for a strike. In the air, left field. Castellanos under this one. Calls it in, and there's one away. Abisail Garcia, the next to hit. The right fielder. The pitch. That's in there, and that is strike one. Next offering misses, and the count even one and one. And the right hander deals. And Garcia gets a piece. Kicks and deals. Stays alive. Righty to the plate. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Aguilar coming home. He'll score. It's 5-0. Well done. Drives in the run. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Sanchez watches that one for a strike. Standing in here with one down. Swing and a miss. And he struck him out. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Willie Adamas stands in. Here comes a pitch. Bounce to the right. Segura over to pick it up. Segura throw to first. And they get Adamas for the out. Play made. That ends the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Through eight full. Marlins five. And the Phillies nothing. We have no errors, but Harper made two fielding errors that are not being listed. Philadelphia, the right fielder, Bryce Harper. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. Off the mark there. One ball, one strike. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. And that one is lifted in the air. Garcia, as this one sized up, drops into the glove, and a quick out number one. Now batter, 
Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Sanchez back to work. Out to short. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. So, man aboard, and up to the plate is JT Real Muto. And the pitch. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Got it! Nice grab. And there's two down. And the batter now, now is the Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. And here it comes. And ball one. Castellanos leads off first with two down to the inning. Well struck left field. Way back there. And it's out of here. His fourth home run of the season. And they slice into the lead. It's 5-2. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Sixto Sanchez out of the game, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. New pitcher on here, Dylan Floro. He's been so good against lefties. Number 42, Dylan. D.D. Gregorius steps to the plate. The wide to kick the pitch. Now batting. Check swing, but he went too far. It's 0-1. Gregorius checks his swing, appeal to third, no swing. Here's a 1-1. And there's a ball. That one hit to right. A little bloop single. Two out base hit keeps the inning alive. Up next to Philadelphia. The center fielder. Mickey, Mickey Moniak stands Moniak. in for the Phillies. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover. Something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Left hand batter waits. Good eye in that spot. Grounded to Aguilar. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting. Runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. Well, um, Hoskins' bat showed up late. Um, we couldn't get the bats going at all this entire game. And Harper pretty much had a bad fielding day. So, it is what it is. I really like the... Uh, I really like the uniforms for Jackie Robinson Day this year. I think it's a really nice touch actually having special uniforms um, for the day. So it's kind of actually really nice. So until next time, this is David B69, and I'm out. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious.
Miami Marlins. Five runs on 11 hits. One error. They left six men on base. For Philadelphia, two runs, six hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and eight minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.